Hi, it's Dr. Lynn Kenny. We have gotten wonderful emails and even tweets since we posted our blog post on how physical activity improves children's cognition. So I thought that uh, this morning I would just quickly answer a few of the questions that we had. Um, one person asked, um, does, how, does the research really say that physical activity improves our health and our cognition? And I've got some articles and citations on the site, but yes, we're pretty clear that physical activity, uh, just outdoors playing, playing with your kids, doing basketball, swimming, um, you know, playing with hula hoops and jump ropes, it's all really, really great for you. Because being physically active, specifically 60 minutes per day, seven days a week, has been shown to decrease stress, increase self-regulation, decrease diabetes, decrease obesity, improve cardiovascular health. And now there's kind of a newer body of research that says that uh, physical activity is even beneficial for focus, memory, self-control, and self-regulation. So specifically in the children that we see, the ones with attention challenges and learning challenges, dysregulation, we want to get these children up and moving uh, frequently in order to benefit their overall health. Now, I, on the blog post, separated the physical activity research in three ways. So first, we've got the general physical activity. Yes, moving is great for you. Then you've got acute physical activity. Those are, you know, the moderately vigorous physical activities that you do for a few minutes before you do something important, like take a test or um, study some homework. It, it's really, really great to get your body moving. I, I of course, like rhythmic beat-based coordinative movement because that's where, where, where the research is kind of heading us uh, in that direction. But really, any vigorous activity gets your neurotransmitters flowing, gets your, gets your um, oxygen, you know, blood oxygenated and your brain oxygenated, and that's all really helpful you know, before what we call a cognitive event or activity or task. And then there's a third body of research that's really growing. And, you know, it's, it's at, the, at the edge, kind of the, the edge of neuroscience and education. It's newer research. Um, and basically that says that it appears that doing coordinative, rhythmic, beat-based activities that make you think tend to improve your focus, memory, and self-control. A bunch of us are going to meet um, in Boston in July to go over, you know, what's the evidence. And I, as we hear more about the research, I'll be happy to let you know. But on the blog post, there's plenty of research. And then the fourth question I got was regarding resources. Um, on the auditory side, I really like Meludia. Um, Meludia isn't designed to be a physical activity program. It's designed to be a music enhancement program. But it really, I find that when the children are doing Meludia even a little bit, when they come to the classes that we, we do, where we're doing our think ups or spotlight or the kinetic classroom, when they can really hear and listen to uh, beats and variations in the tone of music, that really appears to benefit them. I like In Time, which Alex Doman and Sheila Allen and Nacho Armani created. That's very rhythmically based music. Um, on the PE side, Dave Senecal created Beat Sheets. They're on Teachers Pay Teachers. They're inexpensive and they're fabulous. You just print them out, you laminate them, you throw them down on the ground. And the middle schoolers, high schoolers, they love to like have little, you know, beat sheet competitions. Open Phys Ed has all sorts of PE lessons. You can do them at home, you can do them at school, you can do them on the park, in the playground. That's fabulous. And then for over 20 years, I've been using the resources at Spark PE, um, which I really, really love. So I hope that that answers some of your questions really quickly. Thank you so much for all the emails. We're very, very happy that teachers and administrators are getting excited about and interested in improving cognitive physical activities and embodied cognition in classrooms so that we can get our children up moving to think. All right, hope that's a great start. Have a beautiful day, everybody.